Now, if you weren't exactly 100% sure how to use your cyber rig, I'm going to try to kind of tell you a few things about cyber rigs and the shards you get from them and all of this good stuff. So, first of all, let's uh, look at it. You see where the cyber rig is right there. So, it's just right next to your car. You go right there. You click on that and you could pick whichever cyber rig it is you wish to use. And, of course, I'm using a purple and, of course... Orange or Legendary is going to be the best that you can get. But then, when you're uh, actually, you don't click on it there, but you'll hit View. You want to view it at this point, or you can just tab over one time, and if you have it equipped, it'll be showing right here. And this will let you actually look at your Cyber Rig once you've clicked View, which, not sure where it'll be on everything else, but on Xbox, it's going to be an X and probably going to be a square on PlayStation. But uh, that's when you'll come in here and you can thumb over and on everything and you'll see it's all, you can highlight every one of these and you can simply click and if you had anything, any, which I, I think I've used every one of them I had, well I guess I didn't use all of them, I could click on this and put it in that spot. So that would be how you do it, you just, you click on it, you select, you select what it is, then you'd hit A to accept and that will instantly put it into that slot and then it's equipped and you can see I fully have this one decked out I have it something in every one of them but if you notice the yellow bar is not all the way up over here on the left hand side because really you gotta have purple and legendary chips inside of your shield to get that all the way up and I've gone through this again but I'm doing it again because this, this is live now it's no longer on the test server so I'm not going to get everything from that. I am just going to get the uh, passive, the vampire, the passive vampire shield. The vampire shield gives you 2% life still for 5 seconds on shield break and reanimation on reviving a group member, 20% chance to revive other group members. So it kind of works out good. That's a nice little perk to have to use for the uh, expedition. So... What I wanted to show you after this, because that's that's general stuff, I've really gone over all of that before, is we want to go over into our inventory and and this is gonna take a second. Give me give me a second so we can get all the way to the bottom here, because that's where they're going to be. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get there, I promise. I promise we're getting there. <laughs> Alright, here we are, all the way to the bottom. So now you see, uh, you want to add, I mean, you want to get some shards out of these, or you want to dispose of these. Well, you can't sell them, so what you have to do is go to break down. So I'll highlight this one, and are you sure you want to break it down? And you can see it there, I'm destroying it for two, and it has a little symbol there, that's silicone shards. So I can break that down, and there you go, I received two silicone shards. Now, if we go over here, you can see all my silicone shards that I have two of them right next to my hunter requisitions so now we will pop over here to Alcatraz alright we're in Alcatraz and we're gonna run just right here and you can see cyber rig vendor and that is you if you see it right there on the right hand side of the little box silicone shards that is how you buy things out of this vendor is by breaking stuff down now Unfortunately, as far as cyber rigs, there is nothing but green and blue. You cannot get an epic or legendary one from the cyber rig vendor. But you can get epic chips to put in your cyber rig. So that would uh, that would be a good thing. And you can see as I'm going down, it's just tons of them. There's, I mean, they have one of every flavor. <laughs> your damage intensifier for your shotgun... Damage and time. I mean, so you see how it is. So see, it's just you got green, blue, purple. So you got a green, blue, and purple of every, just about everything you can imagine. And mmm, look at that submachine gun, two percent damage. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I mean, that's, I mean, that's what you can use them for. So, and it does take a minute. You'll have to do quite a bit of expeditions to break down enough to get enough silicone shards to buy some of this stuff. But, uh comes in handy look at that 2.5 percent base health that's always a good one and I know there's a shield one that would come in handy so there's some pretty good stuff on here I mean stuff look at that lock on expediter wow even for 
rocket launchers. There's all kinds of things. 8% mag for your assault rifle. So if you're going to use assault rifles, that is just awesome to use right there. So, And you can see the green ones are not very expensive. There's just 10, so they really don't cost much. It's, it's when you get to the purples that you're really going to get, get charged. But if you really have a purple or a legendary rig, you really want to put purple or better into it. Because remember, to pull one out, you have to have... Well, we'll back out of here and we'll just see if we can't show you. Because I know I have... All right, we'll go right here. Well, I guess it doesn't show it, but I swore I had chip pullers. You have to have chip pullers. And it may have them, and they're just not showing up. But, uh, because I thought I saw some drop. But I could be wrong, but you have to have a chip puller. Now, how do I know if I have a chip puller? That's, that's going to be the question, because even I don't know that. Um, let's see if we if we'll view it. We'll do it right. There you go. You can see it says press Y to pull chip. And that, that's what a chip puller does. And now I can see it. You'll see it all the way at the very bottom on the right hand side. Chip pullers. I have three. So that lets me know I can pull a chip out. If you don't have chip pullers, you cannot pull one out. You can overwrite it, but you can't pull it out. So, And sometimes you want to save them. So if I got, say if I got a legendary one and I wanted to put some of these mods in there, then I would need a chip puller. So... And uh, if you can't tell the difference with the purple one, and, and I'm trying to see if I can do it here because I didn't, I just really just set this all up, is I don't get to put that big chip up top that would like give me an overcharge or increase or anything. So really and truly, you are pulling to get yourself a legendary one because that one's going to give you a big bump when you put a nice little uh, chip up top, which a master chip that uh, I don't have one and I do not have a legendary one, but... The main purpose of everything is just kind of show you how to equip them, how to get your silicone shards, and where to spin your sil silicone shards. So, kind of hope that helps you guys out who might be a little bit confused since this wasn't really, really explained to us. And I will catch you guys later.